it's a hazard for anyone out there on the roads, but drivers won't discover it until after a crash. Consumer investigator Jason Knowles has been investigating costly delays, even denials related to auto accident claims. Jason. Well, that's right. The I-Team has gotten dozens of calls from people fighting stalled insurance claims. Some people who say they're getting the runaround aren't even customers of the plans in question. They were, however, victims of crashes, and now they have to dip into their own pockets. Victim takes the blood of the punishment. From the streets of Chatham to Lakeview. They took a very simple case and made it very difficult, threw in a lot of loopholes. Adam Musto and Jerome Simmons are both victims of car crashes in heated payout disputes with the other driver's insurance. They were hit by drivers who have non-standard insurance or low-cost auto insurance policies from two different carriers. Carriers which may also cover high-risk drivers. Simmons is still driving a dented car. He says his $2,200 November claim was denied by the other driver's non-standard American Heartland insurance. I just want the car fix. When the I-team inquired, the company said the policyholder didn't notify them. They were not going to pay the claim simply because they had not talked to their client which is ludicrous. American Heartland said the police report was a one-party report filed by Simmons, which didn't include their client's vehicle make and model. The Illinois Insurance Association says that shouldn't matter. And the police report had personal information along with the insurance policy. American Heartland insists it was unable to determine if a vehicle insured under its policyholder was involved in this incident. According to the Illinois Department of Insurance's most recent 2017 report, American Heartland has the third highest complaint ratio. Overall, the state report shows that insurers with the highest complaint ratios are mostly non-standard insurers. The acting director of the Department of Insurance says non-standard insurers help drivers who may not qualify for coverage, which they need in order to drive. Does more need to be done to regulate non-standard auto insurers? I think the, the laws and regulations on our books adequately um, regulates the industry generally. But what if you're in a payout dispute with a driver who has non-standard insurance? You can make a claim against your own company. It's up to your insurance company to recover against the non-standard. The victim has to pay their own deductible in the meantime. That is true, but if their insurance company is able to successfully recover against the non-standard, they could get their deductible back. Adam Musto and his fiance were trying to collect $300 in damage after they were hit by a vehicle with unique insurance. My situation is almost like getting in an accident with someone who doesn't have insurance. Unique sent this denial letter saying the other driver wasn't the policyholder and told the I-team the driver did not have a valid license at the time of the crash, which the I-team did confirm. The insurance company also cited an Illinois Supreme Court ruling for the denial, but... The Illinois Insurance Association says a standard insurer's policy would have most likely provided coverage because policies cover the car, not the driver. Neil Gainsburg represents clients in non-standard insurance disputes. Their business model is to see if there is some way that they don't have to pay. They are always looking at that. They're looking at their bottom line as opposed to what's in the best interest of their customer. They use you know, practices like that to deny the coverage, even though it's, it was their policyholders, you know, fault. And that's, that's not fair and that's not right. In 2017, state rules were added saying non-standards had to better underwrite people before policies were sold instead of researching records after drivers had accidents. Before you buy an insurance plan, you should get two to three quotes and research state complaint records. You can see those records and even file a complaint of your own if you go to our website, abc7chicago.com. There is a link to the state website. Interesting. Something you'd never realize, of course, until yeah. somebody else hits you. Right, and some people say it's just not fair. Yeah. Thanks for sharing.